Dana White says his upcoming meeting with Khabib Nurmagomedov lines up perfectly with recent shakeup of lightweight division. Is it safe to say that no decisions will be made for the lightweight strap until you meet face to face with Khabib in person? Yeah, I'm meeting with him next month. It, it actually all lines up perfectly. Connor's going to fight that same week with Poirier. We're talking about Chandler fighting. You know, this fight happened tonight, and then I meet with Habib next month, and uh, we figure out what's going on. Charles Oliveira wants the winner of Conor McGregor and Dustin Poirier after his win at UFC 256. I know you said you want the winner of, of Poirier and Conor. It looks like Gaethje and Chandler might fight as well. Habib might even come back. If Habib comes back, can you make the case that you deserve him over any of those other four guys? Habib swore on his father's grave that he wasn't going to come back. So when a man does that, you know, I don't think he's going to come back. And, you know, Gaethje can go fight whoever. But I want the winner of Connor and Poirier. I have eight wins in a row. Seven of those I, I, I finished the fight. And, you know, I don't let it go to the judge's hands. You know, I finish fights and I deserve. I'm in the position to be fighting for the belt. Kevin Holland has some thoughts on Kamza Chimaev. You did mention Hamza Chimaev as someone you wanted to fight. So <laughs> yeah. you want to fight him next week. Yeah, I'll do it. Is that because you want to fight him or you just want to fight next week and he's a guy who has this reputation as fighting all the time? Both. And he doesn't have a reputation for fighting all the time. That's just what all the casuals think, that he fights all the time. He fought three times this year. Two times against Bum and then another time against Gerald Mershard. Gerald Mershard is not a bum, but he was coming off a knockout. Uh... He hasn't beat anybody in the UFC with a win, but at the same time, he's a good ticket for the UFC, so let me stop talking about somebody who can help us make money, right? Ali Abdulaziz took a jab at Tony Ferguson's jiu-jitsu skills following UFC 256 loss to Charles Oliveira. He tweeted black belt versus white belt. Well, a lot of Tony Ferguson's fans did not like it. Kicking a man while he's down, classy for a high level one third fighter like yourself. Cub Swanson reveals he broke his hand before caving. Daniel Pineda at UFC 256. Also, my knee held up fine, but I think I broke my right hand in the first. Jason Herzog responds to backlash from UFC 256 main event point reduction. A fan on Twitter said, Figueroa got absolutely screwed by Jason Herzog. He should never be able to ref a main event in his career ever again. Fiji won that and it should not have been that close. Herzog should get fired because of that. He replied, be honest, how much did you lose? And guys, don't forget to subscribe, like and share my channel.